Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by today to see what I am up to. Today I have a little tray here of products. So these are the May products that I have tried. There's not a lot here this month. I'm trying to use up the March and April products that I've opened and started to use and not open too many new things until I can finish them up. But real fast, I just wanted to show you the items that I kept that were from clothing boxes. I've never, I've only done this a couple months, but I never thought to show you what I finally kept. So you know that in the drape fit, I did keep the white capris. That was the only thing I kept from that box. And my stitch fix, these are the only two tops that I kept. The button down blouse, it's more floral. I know a lot of people thought it was animal print, but it's the floral blouse. And then I kept the olive tea. Um, have not worn them yet. I have to like steam them or press them or do something. And the I was going to wear the white capris labor on Labor Day on Memorial Day. It's just a little too hot. I'm like, uh, no, I think I want. And I had dogs with me, so I figured if I if they're at all on wet grass, I'm going to have prints on me. So I figured, you know, that's wasn't the time. Um, so I have my folder out. So they're the clothes that I kept. So I have my folder out that says everything in it for May. So I'm going to take everything out so that I can tell you what box these products came from because I couldn't tell you. I do have some wipes here in case I need them for anything. But I was surprised at the least. I think this so far, this was the least that I used. I did the very first month. I used quite a lot. Um, last month I used was surprised at how much I tried to. And I know this month I did not because of, like I said, I want to use, I'm just going to put these back here. I want to use um, what I have open. Um, I have a lot of skincare and a lot of makeup, so I don't want to keep on opening products and trying them and putting them in a drawer. I don't have room to keep on storing all this open stuff. Then I don't know what's open and what's new. Yeah, if I share with my family, that's okay, but... If things are not touched, I can give them away. So I'd rather, you know, do that. Um, I wanted to give you a quick update. I still have not received the cord from Sensibo, so I cannot um, share with you that. I figured this would be a great video for that, but I still have not received it. So we'll have to move on from, from that. Um, the first thing that I'm going to share with you, and I'm happy that I can get rid of some boxes, is from iMethod, and this is their Natural Brows Eyebrow Pen. I do, and this is in 04 light brown, which I'm happy now to get rid of the box. So I will keep the box for just a moment because I will try to get a photo of everything. This is what it looks like. And this is the three like little um, individual markers. This works wonderfully, I find, for just the beginning. I've tried it like mid and trying to get it out on the tail. And for me, I'd rather just use a pencil for that portion, for, especially for the tail. But this type of product is great in the beginning because you can just flick up little hairs and have it look a little bit more natural. You know, I brows are brows. I don't do like the whole Instagram brow or anything like that. But this I do like, but like I said, not for my entire brow. Like I love the brow stamper for the entire brow, but this just for the beginning. So I'm not gonna swatch that because we did, you know, I did that before. Um, let me try to see. I have my Fat Fit Fun list here. Um, I have not tried the hairbrush yet. Um, I will have to update, and that was technically a May product. I just haven't had the opportunity. I went to wash and dry my hair and, you know, have it, creature of habit. I am very much, I just pulled out my regular hair dryer and I was like, no, I wanted to try the brush. I will be washing my hair today, um, this evening, I should say. So I will use it and I'll just have to keep you updated in a future video on that. I think it'll work fine because my hair's not super short. And I think, I mean, I know they work well on long hair, but I think it's just a lot more work. My length hair, I think, would be perfect for something like that. Um, I The sword desk mat, I do have that under my laptop and I love it. It... Um, I noticed, you know, like my lap, I'm looking at my laptop right now. It really doesn't move, um, but sometimes it does. And I'm noticing a little mark. I have a black um, laptop table and a little mark on it. Now I can cheat that and fill it in with like a black Sharpie. 
um, and sometimes I do, um, but I figured that mat would work better. Now, I don't have to worry about a mouse. I don't use the laptop mouse. I hate them. Um, I use a tracker ball, so my mouse does not move. It's all thumb movement. Um, so that's not really doing anything. It was like I noticed the laptop might slide a little, especially if I'm like commenting and things like that. So I wanted to prevent that. Plus, I think it's just a nicer look, and I think it's better for the laptop because that is like a silicone-based, and that was... Um, the value of that was $29.99. Now, obviously, I'm sure you can get them cheaper, but very happy with it. It fits the entire length of my table, which is pretty long because I have workroom on both sides. It doesn't fit the, the width of the table, but like 90% of it, which I don't use the back portion anyway. I wanted my laptop on, on top of it. So that I'm loving. Um, trying to think. The next items that I have that I got from my FabFitFun are from First Aid Beauty, and these are the ingrown hair pads. I don't have too many issues with ingrown hairs. I don't shave. I have epilated for a long time, but I have one spot on my leg that the hair will just keep on coming back, which is fine. It's one spot. It's not my entire leg, but I did notice like a small little bump. So it might be an ingrown hair from like from the epilator, which is a whole bunch of tweezers basically pulling it. It might have not pulled it completely. So I've been using these on my leg and they're, you know, they're just like face pads. I'll give you a little shot of them. Um, and they work so far. I noticed that it's not as the skin because this has um, BHA and AHA in it. And I didn't notice that the skin is on the surface is not as rough um, that I think the hair can't poke through because now it's real rough that it's softening it up. So hopefully if there isn't, it, maybe it's not, maybe it's just a bump, um, that if there is a hair in there that it can pop through like softer skin. So I definitely think these work. I have seen reviews on them and they do work. If you do struggle with ingrown hairs to use these, you do get 28 pads in there. Works well. I like them. And this is wonderful. Now, I tried this a few times, not many, because I just have real little, tiny little bumps on the, that's more on like on the back of your arm. Um, I can usually take care of that using my sponge gel, like in the shower, and just hit that area a little bit more maybe, and it smooths them out. But I found that this worked a little bit better than that. So I know this works, um, and this is the Bump Eraser Body Scrub. And this has AHA in it. Um, and this is for KP. I have to figure out what, I forgot what that meant. I had it written down so that I could tell you, forget what it stands for, but I can put that in my description box or so that you guys know. So if you suffer with that, try this. It really, I mean, exfoliating will help. Um, sometimes that can irritate though, if you're like too rough where I think this is perfect. And I've, you know, down to here. So I've used it a few times. I do like that and we'll keep it on hand and use it. Why not? I have it. So that also came in Fab Fit Fun. I'm trying to see what else in here. I have not tried that free body scrubber just because I use like the sponge gel and that's an exfoliator. Um, trying to think what else. I have not used, oh, now this I got in there. This was an add-on, this little tiny, um, hourglass pencil. I haven't used it yet because I still have an um, Anastasia one open. So you don't get much in there, but I love the hourglass um, pencil. I think it's a perfect color for me. Now, this one does not have the spoolie on the other end, which I'm fine with. I have tons of spoolies, but I love these. I've had two full size. And when I saw the little travel, I'm thinking, oh, maybe I should keep this for travel, but I'm going to use it now. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. But I love the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wist. That's really nice, too. A little darker of a shade. The Hourglass is more the proper brown for me, where the hour, or the Anastasia one is just slightly like a darker brown. It still works, but I like this one better. That's probably my favorite pencil, and I was always hated pencils. I didn't like the look of it, but, you know, with practice, you can get it to look decent. So I do love that, and I will use that. I have not yet, but it's in my um, bathroom next to use right after the um, Anastasia one. And it's almost gone, but I don't want to pull another one out of my drawer because I want to use this one since I did um, just get it. 
the silicone pet bowl. I was out uh, for Memorial um, weekend and did use that. That was nice. Um, more Oreo than patches. So that was a nice um, little addition to have to keep with their um, harness and their leashes. I just throw them on a little like store bag, uh, like a material one, put the water bowl in there and like the bags and all the stuff that I need for them. You know, my sister has a, a w actual water bowl for inside her house, but that was perfect for outside. I didn't need it in the car because it was a short drive, 15 minute drive. Um, but they're the only things that I tried so far from Fab Fit Fun. I'm just trying to put all this stuff underneath so I can see. Um, my silver swag box. Um, I put the car coasters that I received in my cup holders in like my center console. And they're just, you know, I mean, are they functional? No, because I have a, like, you know, usually car rubber mat in there and they're, you can get them wet that because the hike can lift the whole thing out and wash it. I just think it's cute to have it in there. So I do have them in there and I have the tote packed because I'll be going away for like just for the day. So I, I'm going to use that. Um, and I have the wipes in there because you know what? I, that's not something I would pack normally because I don't have children, young children that I need a wet wipe for, but why not? They're sanitizing hand wipes. So I am going to take them with me. The gummy bears and the trail mix are now officially gone. They were delicious. They were probably some of the best gummies that I've tried in a long time. Um, so let's, that's all fab fit bomb. What is this? Um, I didn't pull the two, well, that's magnetized. I forgot. I didn't pull the two lip from iMethod. So I have the heat blushed. I did not pull out the two gloss, the lip plumper glosses. I've used them, but only once or twice. Um, just be, you know, I have other stuff. So I figured, you know, I'll hold off on them a little bit. So this is what the product looked like. And this is the blush. I do like this very much. I will give this a little swatch on my hand. This is such a pretty shade. It's dark here. But I went, to I went heavy with that. But you can go super light. And this blends out so nice. I like this. And I did. I have it in the tin still. I'm going to take it out of the tin now. But I want to use this tin when I travel to put my little hourglass pencil in. Like tweezers. If I have to take little scissors. Or if I even I want to put take band-aids and things like that. That tin is going to come in handy. But this is really pretty on. Obviously, you know, go lighter. But it does. I'm just going to blend it out and show you that you don't get any harsh lines when you blend. I'm obviously blending with my finger. And I don't. I blend this out with a brush. But you can see it blends out nicely. The color is beautiful. Of course, I want to just wipe this off, especially off my finger. I don't want to transfer blush today. But this is really pretty, and um, I like the color because obviously I went darker here so you can see it. But I just put a little bit on my brush. Um, one time I tried it on my sponge that was damp from me using it for my foundation. I just used the opposite end and, and put a little bit on there and then just blended it and got it in. Um, if it got a little too much, I just used the side that had my foundation on it and, you know corrected it so that you know worked out nice for me um i do like that very much so i've been enjoying the cream the, the natasha denona one i still use and love i'm liking the creams for the summer months so um that's those products there I'm trying to think i'm just pulling cards out so i can tell you um i have used twice now i haven't used more than that the dominique cosmetics um, blur and moisture serum primer this is $28 value this is very nice I like this and I will continue to I rotate through my primer so I'm not using the same one all the time so I can use them up because um, I think I have three or four open so I'm, I'm gonna I added this to the open ones I like this a lot um, but I like some of the more affordable ones better so I don't need to spend $28 on that because I like the elf ones I want to use them um, I'm trying to think. I have a Marc Jacobs primer that I love. Coconut smell. Um, and that has no scent, which I do appreciate. But I love coconut. Like the tropical smells. Pineapple, coconut, 
things like that. So that doesn't bother me. If it was overpowering, I wouldn't like it because I don't want to constantly smell that. But when you apply the Marc Jacobs that has the coconut um, scent, it just gives you that tropical vibe and it goes away fast. It doesn't stay. I don't find it's necessary to scent makeup like that, but that is not bad. Um, item Beauty, which I did get in both boxes. This is base, I do believe. So I have both shades here. I have not tried the lighter one yet. This shade, which I think was 110, is perfect for me. This is a little too light. Maybe like winter time when I'm a little paler. Um, but I could use that to mix. I have one that's a little too dark. Um, I still have my white out. The big doe foot. And this, I'll just show you. Um, this actually worked out very nice. I'll just put a couple little dots there. So I do like that. It gives nice coverage. So here's the tone for me. And this, you know, it, it doesn't look right on my hand because obviously my hand's slightly darker than my face. But it blends out nicely and gives good coverage. It's taken the blue out of my hands, you know, because, you know, the older you get and even sometimes younger, um, you know, your veins pop through. Um, it does, and I don't have that under my eyes, but, so, you know, slightly darker, but it is, it does cover and give good coverage. You know, obviously set it with powder, setting powder so that you don't, like all your fine lines and wrinkles don't pop through, but, and it worked well. I didn't have to worry about it caking up and stuff like that. So I like it. I don't love concealer generally, but I like that. That's very nice. I don't think, and then the cab lip oils, I have tried them. Um, mainly nighttime, but I only tried the one, I, the lemon one just reminds me too much of furniture cleaner. So I used the, the lime one, um, so far, and that was pretty nice. I didn't pull them because they're not, I have them in my bathroom. Um, I'm trying to think from Lorella. I don't think I tried anything from their box yet. The Onyx brush set that I got in my Lorella box, I did touch the one brush. I decided, and I didn't touch any of the other ones. I didn't touch them when I filmed and I didn't touch them off camera. I'm going to share that set. So when I give it away, I have a little note with the brushes that I touched the one brush. So please wash the brush before you use it. I touched it with my hands. I didn't go on with my face. Uh, before I film, my hands are always clean because, and you know, obviously if I get and put anything on, I'm using wipes to clean my hands. Um, but you should always wash new brushes anyway. They're, they still have a chemical on them um, to keep them nice and firm. So you really should wash brushes before you use them anyway. But I have a little note on there that I did touch this particular brush only to please wash. If you don't want to wash them, which that's your prerogative, at least wash that brush. But I'm going to share that set. And I shared the, I'm going to be sharing the Wild um, Fang palette. I just decided I was not keeping it. It, it. it just was not necessary. So I haven't tried anything else from their box. Let's, I think I have some Ipsy stuff that I did try. Let me see here. Um, this I tried. And this is from, and I'm still not sure how to say this, Tenace or Tenaeus. The um, Bengal, um, the Kajal, pe oh no, that's, that's the pencil. I didn't try the pencil, so I didn't try anything from this one. I tried, I think it was from this Ipsy that has this one in it. Um, no, no, it was the pencil that I tried. That should be right here. Yes, this is what I tried. Yeah, okay, because this is a pencil. It's still the same. Yes. Right here. This is what I tried. A little different. This is more of a gel. Don't want to press too hard and break it. So that's pretty green. I did try this one, but I did try this too, and I don't know what box I got this in. It's the same company, but this is the liquid liner. I did try this. This is slightly different and this does give a nice line and you can, you know, light thick however you want to do it. And this does work nice. The tip is very flexible. So I did, I didn't pull out the pencil. 
very nice I like the brand um, it dries down to like the liquid dries down to a mat they're two different shades one the pencil it's the, the gel pencil slightly darker than the liner the liners a little bit lighter of a green which is fine because it just pops on your eyes very nice I like that so they were from Ipsy just trying to get this stuff out of the way um, the only thing I tried for my other um, boxy charm box was the other and I didn't try yet the other item beauty um, concealer but I will that's with both of those uh -huh. trying to think um, I'm not, boxes that are lifestyle boxes are kind of difficult for me let me see uh, I didn't try anything from that box Macy's I did try which is right here from Laura Mercier right here this is the velour extreme matte lipstick I wore this the one day it's right there this is a pretty shade it's it's a little dark but it's like a berry pink red like combination very pretty it was very deep on my lip and I just went over it with a little bit of a lighter pink gloss to you know have it not be so so dark because I didn't want to wear a super dark this was very nice and I would consider buying a full size um, just to give it a try I'm just trying to do this differently so my boxy uh, premium what did I try from there um, I think this is the only thing I tried from there no two products yes two products this is KVD um, and this is the lip now this one surprised me right here I only tried this once this is more of a red and I um, took care of this and lightened it up because this is a red and I don't do well with red so I mixed it with a few other shades I don't recall what they were right now but I did try it it is a very nice formula very creamy and um, long lasting so I was not disappointed in that whatsoever um, but straight on its own absolutely not it was just too much for me um i did i swatched this palette and i have used it and this was from my premium and this is trust loose beauty la flor de mexico palette right here i've used it like it very very much they have some nice formula i'm not going to swatch anything here i did all that in my original video but i have used a couple of the shades not many but i have used it and uh hopefully we'll continue to use it let me see here from glam bag x i think did i only try one product or two i know i have that one um i think this might have just been one product in here that i tried uh, oh no i have two i have tried which is another concealer that i didn't want to the tarte creaseless concealer $27 value this one is but I love Tarte's concealer I love their shape tape this is nice too this shade is works just fine too I only use this once it's right there. I don't know if you guys can see it right there but this um, is a little bit darker than the other one but blends more into my hand so I think better now that um like i don't have a ton of color at all i am actually on the paler side but i think that works a little bit better um is not as brightening because it's you know more my true skin um tone but it's a great like spot concealer because it will blend better and not bring a bright concealer to an area that you don't necessarily want brightness um so but i can use that um under eye or like little spot treatment and i try this of course i did and i have used and i do have my current everyday makeup in my ipsy floral bag that i did get i didn't have not tried anything else but this i love i couldn't i was like what i could never remember that what it was called ink drink this is an essence so this you always remember when you do skincare lightest to heaviest weight products this is a liquid you can see that there liquid i didn't realize that it has a spray so basically the first time I tried this I just like quick sprayed it and then just dabbed it in the second time I used it I just sprayed it on like a face round and then just put it on 
where I wanted. This is a firming, resurfacing essence. Helps firm the skin, um, balance. Uh, let me just see. Yeah. It's nice. I like it. I'm so glad I got it. This will last quite a while. You don't need a lot on a little pad. Now I can get rid of the box because I saved the box so I could share it with you. But I'm very happy to have that. I love Sunday Riley products anyway. So no big surprise there. The other item that I have used frequently is another eye method. And this is the uh, plumping gloss. I do like this. Nice color. Oh, God. Glosses sometimes are very goopy. Very nice shade. I'll just glob that on a little bit so you can see it. Let me just close that lid. Here's it. But it has some nice pigment to it. So you're just not putting on a clear gloss that you're not getting any payoff. And that's perfect for days that you really don't want to wear, you know, a full lipstick. That is actually very nice. It plumps. I mean, it doesn't... Um, oh, I think I just scratched myself there trying to get all that makeup off. Um, but it gives a little bit of plumping, which is, which is good. M me more upper lip, which I am enjoying and, um, like that very much. They did ask if I wanted to get some more shades. I still have to respond to them at a busy weekend. So I wasn't able to, but I will, cause I want to try a few other of the shades and see what they're like. Um, AIA beauty, which was pure lease. The only item that I did try is the pineapple gel cleanser. I like this. Very nice. Not real gritty, which, you know, sometimes they can be. Let me just pop a little bit out so I can show you. It's just a little, like, gel-like material. It smells like pineapple. And I, like I said, I love the tropical scents, pineapple and coconut. And this is just really nice. It's just, there's really, like, you don't feel any grit, but it's a nice cleanser. Let me see if, there's, if that's makeup up there. But it foams, you know, let me just... I'll just rub it around just so that you can see when you put it on it does like foam up not really foam but it changes to white which is nice now that just will get any makeup that's on my hand gloss and all that stuff yeah I must have scratched myself um I like it very much I love the scent and it goes away it doesn't like I don't smell the pineapple at all anymore yeah I scratched my arm trying to get all that makeup off so I'm happy to trash the box now and keep this in my bathroom to use. Um, or I might put, maybe I'll put this in the shower. Because sometimes when I take my shower, if I'm not washing my hair, I don't wash my face in the shower. I When I'm out, I then like pull my hair back a little bit and cleanse my face in my bathroom. But this might be better in the shower when I'm actually washing my hair. Because then I don't care like what's on my face. Because I don't like all this, like sometimes the exfoliators have that little bit of grit and then it's in my hair um, when I have conditioner. Usually when I put my conditioner on, then I'll like do my face. And I don't want all them granules and getting in my hair. So those I like to save for non-shampoo days. But this would be good maybe to add to the shower. I love it. It's so nice. I was excited to try their pineapple line. I have not tried their other product. What was their other product? In the gel cream. The bright gel cream probably should try that it helps brighten your skin and all that good stuff from drape fit i did show you i kept the capris um stitch fix from uh, which was 46 that i received in the beginning of may i kept nothing i sent it all back i'm like you know what i'm not keeping stuff that i don't love that i i'm questioning whether i'll wear but then 47 which also showed up in may i kept the two tops and I think that's everything for me. Yes, I'm down to my little um, Celebrate States paper, which was the I think, first one that was in the folder. So then I have all these things here, and May's over because it is the last of May. And um, now I can take everything out of here. I have a box that I just put all that in and um, use this folder for June because June's going to be starting real soon. So they, that is everything that I tried that I received in the month of May. And like I said, I will do when I get the cord for Sensibo. I will, I'm not going to do a standalone video for that unless I receive some more PR. Then I quickly pop that in that video or I'll just, you know, quickly do a, um, you know, a couple minute demo. Maybe we'll have to see how I feel about that, but I'm excited to try that. Um, my allergies have been acting up yesterday was 
it was outside a lot it was hot you could see just it laying on everything and I just was triggered by people doing laundry I could smell the the lawn the um fabric softener and dryer sheets it was just and sneezing then my eyes were watering I'm like oh please stop doing laundry but you know people do laundry on weekends and um it just was like overpowering you know people starting their charcoal grills and putting the liquid you know flame starter on there like I could smell all that so that was just all just irritating me couldn't wait to get home and get in air conditioning and try to ease that whole allergy thing up and I was just like now that would have come in handy to be able to put that on and just help clean the air and you know maybe give me a little bit better night's sleep my eyes very teary today and I just feel it in my throat like I feel like my glands are swollen just from breathing all that in until I can like clear everything out and uh, Oreo just jumped down she probably wants to go out she's just waking up it is early here it's only nine something figured I was up early and I can get a few things done um, before the whole household's waking up and moving about and it's a little harder for me to find film time so thanks for watching I hope you liked my little reviews everything that I tried I liked so no complaints I think only one or two products I think out of the couple months that I've been doing this one I didn't like at all and uh, one I wasn't crazy about but so far everything that I'm picking out to try is good um, and I look forward to all the products coming in June and let's see what June's products bring what I'll love what I won't love and uh, thanks for watching everyone have a wonderful day and I'll catch you all in my next video bye bye now